A high flow of water is being released from Lake Powell into the Colorado River. That's right. This rare spring flow experiment will last for three days. That's according to the Bureau of Reclamation. And our Joe Moeller is in studio tonight breaking down why this is happening and what it all means, Joe. Yeah, well, this release is unique, but good conditions are allowing for it. Now, the point of this is to help the Colorado River and the number of beaches in the Grand Canyon area with the movement of sediment. Incredible video there from the Bureau of Reclamation. They had posted that according to the Bureau, every second 39,500 cubic feet of water is being released. Well, that is about 295,000 gallons of water a second. Now this sort of release usually only takes place in the fall, but favorable hydrology conditions are permitting this spring release. It is set to move sediment along the river throughout the Grand Canyon area to restore a number of beaches. Now the favorable conditions permitting this comes after a healthy winter with snowpack well above average up in the Rockies. Now it's a waiting game to see how much runoff will actually improve conditions and increase the water levels at Powell there and also at Lake Mead. One meteorologist says snow can linger through the next month. Even in May, you see plenty of snow. You still see snow-capped mountains even towards Memorial Day weekend. So it does take quite a bit. Um, at, you know, usually at elevations above 8,000 feet, you'll still typically see start see snow in patches even in late May. Well, Channel 13 has reported on the restriction of releases from Powell in the past to preserve hydropower capabilities. Well, now a lot of people want to know what's next and what a difference a year makes. So far, the Bureau is expecting a lot of snow to melt into the Colorado River. A newly released 24 month study says the amount of water coming into Powell right now is 177% of average. That's good news we want to hear. That means more releases coming in the future. The data also showed the Bureau expects Powell's water level to increase 50 feet and Lake Mead to increase 21 feet through September. So now we have to see what actually happens. I was at Lake Powell just last week and people there are eager to see how much the lake there will improve. Now the water release experiment happening right now there at Powell will happen through Thursday. Reporting in the studio, I'm Joe Muller.